This video is brought to you by Squarespace, an all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Something big is brewing. It's not trade wars, not global conflicts. This one is written in the stars. For the first time in over 400 years, humanity might witness a supernova, visible to the naked eye. No telescope, no filter, just a cosmic titan lighting up our skies. Its name is Betelgeuse, and while saying it three times won't summon anything spooky, it might just summon the brightest light show humanity has seen in over 400 years. This red supergiant is roughly 600 light years away, and in recent years, it's been acting off. Flaring, dimming, pulsing, like a dying heart in the sky. What's behind this strange behavior? Is Betelgeuse really preparing for a spectacular finale? Today, we're diving headfirst into the mystery of one of the sky's most iconic stars, the one that is going to vanish from Orion's shoulder forever. Welcome to Territory. This is your space. Betelgeuse is approximately 600 light years away from Earth, meaning the light we see from it today left the star about 600 years ago. If Betelgeuse had already exploded in a supernova within the last 600 years, the light from that explosion would still be traveling towards us. In other words, it's possible that Betelgeuse has already exploded centuries ago, and we could see the explosion at any time, even tomorrow. When Betelgeuse does go supernova, it will be the brightest one ever seen by humans. So just how bright will it be? Will it be visible during the day? Will it pose any danger? And why do recent observations of Betelgeuse challenge our current understanding of stellar physics? Before we talk about what happens if Betelgeuse goes supernova, let's back up a little. While our sun has been burning steady for about 4.6 billion years, Betelgeuse is a cosmic infant by comparison. Astronomers estimate it's only about 10 million years old. That means it's so fresh out of the stellar nursery that there hasn't even been enough time for solid rocky planets to form around it like Earth. And chances are, they never will. Unlike our sun, which is cruising through life with enough fuel to chill for another 5 billion years, Betelgeuse is burning out fast. Born with over 15 times the mass of our sun, this stellar beast lived fast and large. From the moment it lit up, it started devouring its fuel like a cosmic glutton. Even before it ballooned into a red supergiant, it was already pumping out tens of thousands of times more energy than our sun. Now? it's putting out over 100,000 times more power, an absolute furnace in the sky. And it's not just bright, it's unstable too, and showing signs of exhaustion. And when a red supergiant gets tired, only two outcomes remain. Let's start with the famous one, the supernova. As Betelgeuse runs out of fuel, its core begins fusing heavier elements. Carbon, then oxygen, silicon, all the way to iron, but iron is the final stop. Fusing it doesn't release energy, it consumes it. And when that happens, the core's furnace dies. Gravity, now no longer opposed by outward pressure, takes over. The core collapses in on itself. Now here's where the path splits. If Betelgeuse's mass is on the lower end of red supergiants, around 10 to 15 solar masses, then it's expected to collapse into a neutron star and go supernova in a massive explosion. That's the classical outcome for stars of that size. But if its mass is higher, closer to 20 plus solar masses, the gravitational collapse might be too intense for even neutrons to resist. In that case, Betelgeuse could collapse straight into a black hole with or without a visible explosion. No flash, no warning. The star simply vanishes. So which fate awaits Betelgeuse? The truth is, we still don't know how massive Betelgeuse really is, and that's mainly because we haven't nailed down its exact distance from Earth. And since even small differences in rotation, metallicity, or internal structure can tip the balance, this red supergiant is a cosmic coin toss. But if the odds fall in our favor, if that collapsing core hits just the right resistance, we're in for one of the most spectacular shows the night sky has seen in recorded history. To truly grasp the scale of what's coming, we need a little perspective. Before that, let's quickly hear from today's sponsor, Squarespace, which offers the best tools for easy website design. 
With their AI-backed design intelligence, creating your unique digital identity is fun, effortless, and quick. Their website design system called Fluid Engine lets you customize every design detail with this extremely helpful drag and drop technology. Squarespace also has built-in analytics so that you can easily track who's coming across your new page. Check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, head to squarespace.com territory to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Our sun has a luminosity or power output of 3.8 times 10 to the power 26 watts. However, a supernova observed in 2015, called Assassin 15LH, reached a peak luminosity of around 2 times 10 to the power 38 watts. The brightness would be the combined output of over 500 billion suns. But why didn't we see it from Earth, you ask? Well, Assassin 15LH was located in another galaxy. Betelgeuse, however, is in our cosmic backyard. This proximity means Betelgeuse's supernova would be incredibly bright, potentially outshining even Sirius, the brightest star in our night sky, and it would likely remain visible for weeks. However, will it pose any danger to Earth? A supernova occurring within a few tens of light years from Earth would have serious consequences, including harmful radiation exposure. The danger zone for these effects is estimated to be around 100 light years. Fortunately, Betelgeuse is beyond this range, so we are safe from harm. For comparison, if a nearby star like Alpha Centauri, just over four light years away, were to go supernova, it would shine as bright as the moon and expose Earth to dangerous radiation. But Alpha Centauri is not massive enough to become a supernova. While there are other visible red giants that could potentially go supernova, Betelgeuse is currently the most intriguing. And that is why its recent activity has raised concerns among scientists. One fascinating aspect of Betelgeuse is its rotation. Recent measurements using the ALMA array of telescopes revealed that Betelgeuse rotates at a surprisingly fast rate for a star of its size, about once every 20 years. This means its surface spins at roughly 18,000 kilometers per hour, or 5 kilometers per second much faster than Earth's rotation. This rapid rotation is unusual for such a massive star and challenges our understanding of stellar physics. To measure a star's rotation, astronomers use the Doppler effect. Imagine an ambulance with its siren blaring, approaching you. As it gets closer, the sound of the siren seems higher in pitch. This happens because the sound waves are compressed as the ambulance moves towards you. Once the ambulance passes and moves away, the sound waves are stretched out, making the pitch seem lower. This change in pitch due to the movement is known as the Doppler shift. Similarly, for Betelgeuse, one half of the star's surface is moving towards us, while the other half moves away, creating a gradient of color shifts. By observing these shifts, scientists can determine the star's rotational speed. For Betelgeuse, this speed was found to be much higher than expected. One theory to explain this anomaly is stellar cannibalism, where Betelgeuse might have absorbed a companion star, gaining additional angular momentum in the process. Betelgeuse contains far more nitrogen in its outer atmosphere, which is a sign that its interior has been mixed recently, indicating that something happened to the star, to spin it up. Putting these pieces together, astronomers recently performed a systematic and careful analysis of the intriguing possibility that Betelgeuse did not start off as a single star, but is instead the product of a collision. As the supergiant star aged, its atmosphere extended to the orbit of its companion. Scientists performed a simulation that revealed the companion star's gravity funneled that material onto itself, increasing its own mass. Eventually, the companion started swimming through so much material that this caused friction, slowing the companion and drawing it inward. Newer simulations now suggest that there might be a companion star involved, but Betelgeuse didn't eat it up. You see, Betelgeuse is classified as a variable star, displaying consistent cycles of brightness and dimming. These cycles, often compared to a heartbeat, happen over two separate timescales, one just over a year and another lasting approximately six years. A recent study utilized computer models to simulate the behavior of the red supergiant. 
The team of scientists explored various possibilities to explain the periodic pulsing of the star, including internal stellar activities and magnetic field fluctuations. However, their analysis consistently pointed towards the most plausible explanation, the presence of a companion star. The researchers fittingly dubbed this proposed companion Beetle Buddy. Unfortunately, direct evidence for this scenario won't be easily apparent until Betelgeuse explodes into a supernova. So when is Betelgeuse going to blow? Well, here's the good news and the bad. Truth is, we can't pin down an exact date. Estimates put the explosion anywhere between 10,000 and 100,000 years from now. But here's the twist. Given how far away it is and how light takes centuries to travel across space, it might have already happened. We could just be waiting for the flash to arrive. And that's a mystery that keeps us gazing up at the night sky with anticipation. What do you guys have to say? Drop in your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to Territory because this is your space.